17-year-old Surrey girl Lisa is a student with a burning desire to get behind the wheel. I'm seriously so desperate to pass my driving test. She's had 20 lessons and should be ready for her test. But there's one big problem, a serious fear of going above 20 miles an hour. I get really freaked out when I'm going fast because I associate going fast with like being dangerous. My instructor was saying, because I'm such a nervous person, sometimes I get too close to the wheel and I look scared. You've got to go into your favourite gear. We're going to go into fifth gear. No, 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 we've had your time to go into fifth. Lisa's nerves mean that even the thought of going up to fifth gear sends her into a panic. When we go to fifth gear, her right hand tenses up on the steering wheel. So consequently, when she moves the left hand, the right arm moves as well. And then we get the swerve on the wheel, which then triggers another panic situation. Driving at a snail's pace is seriously holding Lisa back on the road. Shut up and drive. And to make matters worse, her mates are finding it all too easy. Danny passed the driving test today, and I want to rip her head off, even though I'm happy for her. So, while her mates hit the road, Lisa is stuck at the bus stop. I want to pass for that. I'll be driving by the time it's my birthday, because I don't want to have someone drive me to my own birthday dinner. That would be horrible. If she's ever going to live life in the fast lane, Lisa needs help, and quickly. Hi, my name's Jeremy Metcalf. I'm a professional racing driver. Jeremy reckons he's got what it takes to get Lisa revved up on the road. I won the British Championship in Cadets when I was 12 years old. I can help anyone with their driving. Lisa's about to meet Jeremy and has no idea what to expect. I'm not sure where we're going, what I'm going to be doing, or who I'm meeting, but I'm pretty excited. As a learner driver, the last place she thought she'd end up was on a racetrack. I don't know what I'm doing here. I can't even drive. <laughs> Let alone in a souped-up racing car. Jeremy, nice to meet you. I'm a racing driver. Jeremy. I'm going to be helping you get through your test today. Hi. To drive this bad boy, Lisa needs a safety helmet. Suits you, Lisa. I look completely bold. No, you look fine. Lisa gets straight behind the wheel for a practice run. So Jeremy can check out her driving. OK, do you want to put it into first and pull away? More rest. So I keep going. Bring the clutch up. Hold on to your hats, guys. The track goes to the right just down there. Shall I signal? Is Jeremy worried that Lisa's breaking the track speed limit? Um, uh, maybe not. It's obvious from the way she was driving the car that she lacks a lot of confidence. Um, especially at high speed. Time to confront Lisa's fear of going over 40 head on. Maybe a dose of extreme speed will make normal driving feel like a walk in the park. You okay, was that all right? How fast were you going? I don't know. I was, I was too busy looking at your reactions. <laughs> I've never gone that fast in a car. Obviously, on a motorway, you don't go that fast. It's legal. But um, it just made me realise that going 70 is nowhere compared to how fast I was going. Time for Lisa to have another go at cranking up the speed. Jeremy shows her how to control the car with confidence and break her fear of driving fast. That feels okay? Sort of jerky, I that, that's really good, that. That's really nice and smooth. Lisa's next challenge is to hit 70 miles an hour and go into fifth gear for the first time. Jeremy hopes this will give her the confidence to pass her driving test. When she comes to doing it on the road, doing 60 or 70 miles an hour won't seem as bad. And she'll know that she's in control of the car and uh, she'll have more confidence. But in the powerful racing car, Lisa is still scared to put her foot down. I'm pretty nervous about it, but... He's a good teacher and he won't let anything bad happen, so it's okay. Yeah, what we're going to do here is going to go down the left and we're going to really pick up a bit more speed now. Mm. So when we get in a straight line, we're going to sort of like 70, 80. That's it, okay. Put your foot down now. Go on, you can do it. Uh, she has as well. Lisa's into fifth gear. This morning, she was a nervous learner, afraid of 30. Now Lisa's just burnt rubber in a high-powered speed machine.
Yes, I got into 50. <laughs> I was going 90 miles per hour. I didn't feel unsafe. I didn't feel like it was, I was being dangerous or anything because I felt like I was in the camel. Now, you can't drive at 90 miles per hour on public roads, but you can get good driving tips on the almost perfect pages on the Switch website. And remember, always stay within the speed limit. No, I'm impressed. You definitely improved a lot. Jeremy's work is done, but he's got one more challenge for Lisa. We've uh, organised it. You're going to be doing a mock test. So, um... Oh, oh, how are you feeling about that? I don't know. I'm kind of excited because I want to know how how good I am. Thank you for teaching me and helping me. Stop. That's okay. It's, really good. it's been a pleasure. You've been a good student. It's the day of the mock test and time for Lisa to put her new driving skills into practice. Since having the um, coaching with Jeremy, I'm more comfortable with going faster. But I'm really nervous because I have to get things right and not be a dangerous driver. To pass the test, Lisa will need to show all of her newfound confidence on the road. We're looking for somebody who is confident and positive and can get the car moving along. We're safe at the speed limit. Time to prove if her Grand Prix training has paid off. The roundabout turn late. After getting into her stride and nailing some manoeuvres, can Lisa handle the open road? How fast are you travelling past those signs? That's what a brisk 40 is then. With the test done and dusted, it's time for the instructor's verdict. Unfortunately, Lisa, you haven't passed the mock test. Oh dear. There was a car slightly ahead of us and you accelerated to go past. And there wasn't enough time to get back in safely. The car had to slow down. Lisa has failed by being too confident. But at least she's cracked her fear of speed. It does feel like an, an achievement that I can go on fast roads without worrying about it. Because then I need to just work on a few things and hopefully I'll be able to pass when I do my test. News just in and it's good news. Lisa has finally passed her driving test and can start enjoying life as queen of the road. Glad to see she got there in the end, but to be totally honest, after seeing her driving, I don't think I'll be going anywhere near Surrey anytime soon. Now, hopefully today's show has got you one step...